All right, today we have the all-time favorite K1000 Pentax. The best Pentax K1000s are the one that say a shashi on top. And they changed their construction as they went through different years, but the ones that say a shashi are the ones that are the most durable and they use the best parts. So this is like the basic SLR that can do anything and is virtually indestruct indestructible. It has a all metal body. You can bang it up. It probably will keep working. It's an all mechanical shutter. The shutter speeds are here. There's a quarter of a second, 30th of a second. They all just sound completely fine. 125th. It's got no bells and whistles. It only has a rewind knob on the bottom and a place for a battery on the bottom for the meter. The only thing the battery does is run the meter. But the uh, tripod socket and that's it. There's no motor drive ability. It's a very, very simple camera. There's a little release here to take the lens off. Looking inside here, I see a little bit of goo on the mirror, not a lot. But it's the kind of thing that, you know, it happens from as the foam deteriorates inside some of these older cameras, you end up with a cleaning job. And this one has a, the start of a little bit of foam, little specks on the mirror that you might be able to see in the viewfinder, but most of the time you might not even be noticing and it might be fine to work with. I'm looking at this lens. This is a Pentax 50 F2. Came with the camera. And you can see the apertures, I think. They're nice and snappy. That's what we want. You can see that. You can, you know, pull on these little levers and see how they're working. You can look at the back element, make sure it doesn't have any scratches or any kind of marks on it, cleaning marks. Same thing with the front element. There's no filter on this lens but it still looks like it's in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of a smudge. I guess I would take a little bit of lens tissue or I'd probably use a uh, Kleenex myself, actually. I'm not always the biggest fan of buying expensive tissue. Um, that's probably not right and people will say that's wrong, but it works for me. It came with this Boss strap that's like those, those old 70s straps, but what's nice about this one is it's not real thick. So, I don't know if I paid $20 for this, I don't remember buying this, but whatever I paid for it, the strap you couldn't buy at a camera store for $20 right now. And you open the back, everything looks really clean inside. Again, you can dust it, you can blow a little bit of air in it, just be careful of the shutter, don't touch the shutter. That all looks fine, nothing looks like it's jammed up. Did you see the rewind? It kind of is a little sticky coming back, but that's not really a problem. Again, for a small investment of $20, this is just a box that holds film. The film is what records the image. At the moment of exposure, it's just a hole in the body with the film pressed up against it some distance from the lens to make a focused image. There's not really any magic going on in here. It's just a holder for film. And it looks to me like this one will hold film just perfectly. So the K1000, it's a real simple camera, not a whole lot to say about it, because it's so simple. You can find them really, really cheaply. They're well made. Again, the ones that say a shashi on top are some of the better ones because they're a little bit older and they use a little bit more metal parts on them. At least that's what I've been told by technicians. And uh, it's got a match needle viewfinder uh, exposure meter. So there's a little circle that you just line up with a line and through the viewfinder, it's a real simple exposure system. If you get one that the exposure system isn't working, the Sunny 16 rule can shoot film all day long with this. I probably could go a long time without ever putting a battery in this. But if you want a meter, you certainly can find plenty of these are working. 
and the meters work in them. But if you find one that doesn't work, that doesn't mean you can't shoot it. All right, that's a K1000, highly recommended. It's the, the workhorse of all student photography and it has great optics. Pentax makes great lenses, highly recommended. All right, I'll see you next time.